Hey guys, this is uh, a second one because I deleted the first one because I wasn't happy with myself. I was so negative and that is not who I am. So I just felt like I should start it all over. I am currently sick. Seasonal allergies, guys. Um, It's not COVID. I did go to the doctor though and she tried to tell me it was COVID. And I told her that her 10 years of being 10 years of going to doctoring school was a waste of her time if she can't tell the difference between covid and allergies i have allergies i can sit here and tell you i have allergies you want to know why cuz i am able to move and do all of the normal things and also i get this every year since like i ever took a breath of air so there's that too um so yeah and before anyone comes for me i did call her dumb and she deserved it because if you can't tell the difference between the, a quote-unquote virus and a allergy uh, i don't know what to tell you because yeah i also know that um when you're looking at me you wouldn't know that i i sat there and she's like what kind of like she's trying to find some dirt on me so she can poke me with a needle pretty much so she's sitting there and she's like so where do you go to school i was like homeschooled where do you go to work i work from home so anyone in your house sick no they all they're all fine it's just me i'm allergic to leaves in the outdoors (laughs) and she was like and I was like, I know exactly what I need. Just write me a prescription for it because I can't exactly go there and be like, hey, I need this. <laughs> because they will be like, uh, what? I go, yeah, I know exactly what I need. I get it every year. I have practically have bronchitis every year. It's pretty great if you ask me. Um, I'm allergic to leaves and everyone around me loves to play in leaves. Never been able to run around and kick up leaves my entire life. Allergy meds, liver, freaking love them for the past many years i have bottles of allergy meds like by the hundreds um yeah and my family loves that for me also i was gonna add like another vlog where i got all of our meds like for the family kind of thing but it kind of made us look like weirdos because i kept i have i take a lot of nyquil and dayquil and i use the bottles and there was like six of them and i was gonna say seven but that doesn't add up because it's two of them for each and i was like "Mm, that doesn't make sense so there's six of them and i was like oh this kind of makes us look a little weird and but we stock up for like years supplies the you know like all of it lasts us forever so yeah i was gonna show you guys it all so if you ever needed to get like meds cheap this is where you would go but i also looked at it as what others would see out of this because i didn't want my family to be on blast like that uh yeah so i took the different route i if you ever need to get meds cheap perigo is really great they have an outlet it's where they make all the uh off-brand medicines or most of the medicines that you know of normally and if you can't find those there is also other places like check your coupons check your um sometimes there's people who are those extreme couponers and they actually know where some of those kind of stores are so if you stick around in their kind of thing they'll end up telling you anyways i also went um as the last vlog uh there there's a store in my last vlog it's called b2 outlet what it is is where all of the clothes from target and all those stores that all those moms love go to and they drop off all their clothes that never sold or was never like anyone was actually interested in so they go there and they drop it off and you can pick it up like it's a goodwill but everything's like more than half off sometimes a lot of the stuff i got was like a dollar or two i got a bikini top if you guys saw was a dollar and it's gonna be really cute on me and i can't wait um so if anyone wants to fly me to florida i i personally want to go just to wear a bikini top um yeah so there's that i b2 b2 
also is really cool because they're a Christian place. Um, they are support other Christians, so they support chariot, not chariots, charities. They support all different stuff. Like, uh, if you've ever gone to Salvation Army, just like that. Um, I've personally bought uh two dresses, a uh, bikini top, and some bum, some uh bum uh face thingy. I was a face cleaner. Did that make no sense? Oh, I love myself. Um. Also, this week I learned that my ADHD is probably a root cause of a lot of madness that I have. So it's pretty great. Thank you, TikTok, for teaching me that. Um, my ADHD of why I don't fit in. I have way too much ADHD. God bless me as a bro girl. And... I have a weird personality. So, there's all that. And God was like, we're going to spice it up. She's going to be an introvert. <laughs> and we're going to have... Sorry, somebody texted me and I was like, I have no friends. So, yeah. um, And I was a little bit of introvert. A little bit of crazy. Yeah, yeah. So... You just stirred the pot and went, let's see what happens. And I learned my ADHD causes a lot of things. One, I always have to have everything usually out so I can see it. Because if I can't see it, it doesn't exist in my world. Also, my money in my account on like my bank account does not exist most of the time. It'll exist when I am in need of it otherwise i need it in cash form so i can see it learn that through tiktok also the reason why i can do five things at once start two projects and not ever end the end them it's because my adhd um every time i have a squirrel the squirrels come together and make other squirrels it's pretty great um reason why I take colored notes instead of regular notes because I know I'll forget everything so in school I used to be that kind of person that would um who would end up getting those notes that you have to take in school and if I didn't take the notes just right my brain would forget everything so we would always have to um write down the note then highlight the important things or highlight something to go along with it so we remember how it goes see it'll end up great and then and then we get a c we need every time i go and do testing i take this like thick thick pieces of uh notes i almost said pieces of paper but big fat note pieces like huge packets of notes oh keep in mind I, I have i'm literally so sick i'm just bobbing along so i god only knows what's really coming out of my mouth so these thick notes and i would only get a c i have passed so many of my friends through spanish through uh bio through math because i am a crazy person when it comes to studying because I can't pass for the life of me. I love when I look at myself. You can totally see the dark circles. But I've been literally sleeping all day. So, make that add up. You can literally see the allergies in my eyes. <laughs> um, I promise I'm not crying. I don't know why it makes it look like I'm crying. I went to the mall with some friends. I actually have friends, guys. It's pretty fun. But this friend was definitely a different kind of friend, a uh, different kind of person. Um, she dresses up like anime and walks around like that. I love her, but her she has like two different sides to her. She has that side, and then she is country and rides horses and is fun in that way. And then I just love how she's so um like in love with horses and i love when people have passion and they have drive and that's just something i find really interesting in people it's just part of my you know you should start this as a business i am 
I always, I always do that to people. I'm like, you, you know what you should do? You should make this into a business. Yeah. Every t- all of my friends are like, here's Leah's one favorite line. I hate you all so much. <laughs> so I hung out with her, and every time we would go to a, a restaurant, I hope she doesn't get mad that I mentioned this, but I'm not going to mention her name, so hopefully she won't get mad. Um, so every time we go to a restaurant, no one thought we were friends because I dress like a basic white girl, and she dresses like an anime character. So like we don't look like we should be friends but i just love her pure passion for uh horses and how her personality just fits in well with mine is because we're both very funky and have adhd and just out there and yeah no one really thought we were uh friends like one place i was getting pretzels with her and they're like are you waiting for something yeah uh my friend so you can calm your tone this is also the place that uh the guy was hitting on me and asked me if i should join him on his job because he wanted to see me every day love you bro that was the most weirdest thing ever so yeah um i also learned that it may be allergy season but you know what it also is candles and like i see that i'm also a mom when it comes to those things i have the unlimited amount of candles and uh freaking blankets i have a weird collection of all of them that's how big it is hold on like i have to keep my mom away from like lamps and the um uh home stores my mom keeps me away from blankets and candles because i love me a good candle have you all seen that TikTok that goes i may not have money for food i may not have money to hang out with my friends but i always have money for candles always got money for candles <laughs> that currently just popped in my head um i'm gonna tell you a bad thing that because why not so um my main source of income gave me a good scare this week um she decided that she wanted to quit she she wanted a day break i don't get a day break but god gives it and goes you're going to be sick so that's how god makes me slow down um so he he as in god goes we're gonna make you take a break so he goes we're gonna put your whole account on suspension for one day why because the bag that you were trying to sell is quote-unquote fake may i remind you i am most likely sure that this is not fake why because it meets all the criteria of a real bag but yet you're gonna call it fake because why not I swear to God, there's somebody out there that just keeps pushing the red flags. All of my, all of my things. Just so, just, just so they could piss me off. And it's probably a girl that, uh, I told her that the Ray-Bans were real and they were. And she got mad because I wouldn't refund her because, uh, she's trying to scam me out of Ray-Bans. And it's not the greatest way. If you're going to try to scam somebody, scam somebody who's dumb. Okay i know how to argue no <laughs> i should have been a lawyer that would have been great um so yeah my thing went down in suspension and my butt went okay i guess this is our time to open an ebay so we opened an ebay and now we're on ebay and i sold something in literally an hour because i think that's just the universe wants to see how far they can just put me in the trenches till i I fight back so yeah again back to the main quote that I said I don't know if I'm the verge of a breakthrough or a breakdown so we'll just see what happens I hope it's a breakthrough because it's been a minute by a minute I mean a month and I really want to see my numbers grow and grow you know how like everybody's like it takes years um I want to see how long and how quick I can get this go I know how to be me, so we'll see how this goes. Um, totally lost my train of thought. Thanks, ADHD. 
Um, so. I also learned. I forgot where I was going with that. Thanks, my ADHD. My ADHD and my, between my ADHD and my allergies. I don't I can't tell if I want to sneeze or cough currently and I don't want to do it on your face. So, yeah. You guys also love my green eyes. <gasps> Look how beautiful they are. Oh, I guess if if you're listening to this. Wait, uh, probably not. You can't see my green eyes, but they're beautiful if you were wondering. Um yeah. So this Saturday, I'm going to have a huge thing that's going to be going on. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I probably did in the last 15 minutes. But there's going to be an event. And it's a family fish uh, event. Like the fish fry. I know, it sounds so Midwestern. So what we do is we all get together and we go to this family's house. And they all have like a family reunion and they all hang out. And we, yeah. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to go because... I don't know what I'm going to be walking into because all of my friends are in college and they just started college so I don't know if they'll end up making it and I, I'm going to be sad. I'm going to be sad if everybody that there's me. So yeah. Um, I also... Uh, did some cool ass things for Etsy and I would love to show you guys but they're currently all scattered away I tie-dyed uh some black shirts and I did a stone mirror thing and hopefully I'll end up posting them in some sort of vlog so you guys can see them <coughs> yeah so you guys can see what I've been up to I promise these four days haven't been completely madness but I feel bad for not being able to be out there and doing like I really want is I want to put them back to back to back to back but there's most of the time I'm just blowing my nose and I don't think like you guys want to see that no one really wants to see that kind of madness I've been using toilet paper by the way as tissues because I am that kind of person trying to get on my level guys <laughs> so I'm gonna leave because before this ends up being an hour long of me just randomly talking to a microphone while everyone else is off getting degrees and doing something big with their life. I'm just sitting here in my bed. Yeah. So I'm gonna leave and hopefully you all come back and see me next time. Um please join my germ I almost said germs. Please join my journey. And follow me below. Subscribe. I know that everyone hates hearing that out of my voice. But please. Please subscribe. Please. Please. It's the only way I'll grow up on the charts. And I really want to see how far I can go. It makes this wild. So please. Okay. And I'll see you guys in the next one.